Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkelzonki, and welcome to another guide. In this guide, we're going to be going over Cabbage Face Punch, which is a minigame that you can play just north of Lumbridge, and the objective of the minigame is to punch monkeys in the face, which uh, is very apropos of the name, and also, the rewards for this minigame are quite good. You can get Slayer VIP tickets, as well as the Seed Aside, which I'll go over in just a second, and bonus experience and three very helpful skills. So if you are a lower level in the farming, the mining, or the Slayer skills, this is absolutely worth doing. This is going to help you out quite a bit, help you train up those skills quite a bit faster. I'd recommend that you try this out and try doing every single day for the bonus points that you get. So let's go ahead and look at the rewards for what you can get during this mini game. Okay, so there are five helpful things that you can buy with your reward tokens, and there's one very unhelpful thing called the patch bombs, but they're a waste of points, so we're not going to be going over them. So the three main things are the mining bonus XP, the farming bonus, and the slayer bonus. And when you are a lower mining or farming level, this is absolutely way faster than training the skill itself, getting the bonus experience in these two skills. So it's very worth doing if you are a lower mining level. And I know for a lot of people really don't enjoy those two skills all that much when they are low level because they are extremely slow. So it's definitely worth putting your bonus experience if you decide to do this minigame in those skills. Also, if you find Slayer slow or tedious for whatever reason, you can additionally put your bonus experience into Slayer from this skill, and that can be very helpful. And then, of course, what the Seed Aside does is it destroys seeds, much like the Bone Crusher destroys bones, or much like the Herbicide destroys herbs, and you get double the experience that you would get for planting that seed after the Seed Aside destroys it. But unfortunately, then you can't pick up the seed and you don't profit from it. But you might want to consider that if you do a lot of Slayer tasks where the monsters drop seeds. There are also Slayer VIP tickets, and what these do is every single time you get a task from a Slayer Master, it gives you two options for a task that you can select, your normal task that you would have gotten anyway if you, if you were not using the ticket, and then it also allows you a secondary option. So if you don't have a whole lot of Slayer points, but there are certain tasks that you just hate and you really don't want to do, but you don't have the points to block or cancel them, Slayer VIP tickets can help you get past those and can be very handy when training Slayer. So you will get a decent amount of points from playing the game. You can get around 150 or so renown points around that range once you get experienced at the game. And if you are playing with other players who know what they're doing, it makes the game really fast to gain renown points. Also, every day after reset, you can gain an additional bonus of up to 600 renown points, which will take about four, maybe five games to get that. And those renown points means that all renown points you get are going to be doubled until you get 600 renown points bonus on top of the ones that you're earning from the game. So one thing that you can do is just play this game every single day for about an hour to get those bonus renown points and then wait until the next day to come back to it. And that way you're getting the most renown points possible. Okay, so now we go into the game itself. What you want to do is walk into the large waiting lobby, and nothing will happen for about 10 to 15 seconds. Don't worry, this is normal. And then after a bit, you will be put into a face punch game. If you're lucky, there's only going to be a few people in the face punch game because, unfortunately, the more people there are, the more chance there is for someone that will be a PKer. So I'm going to try to go over the basic concept of this game. What you want to do is you want to find a game with a couple other people that are really good at collecting resources. And the idea is you want to follow around the pack and you want to pile everything because you can harvest resources and you can kill the monkey minions faster when you will have a crowd doing that. So you want to punch the monkey minions dead and they will drop cabbage trophies and every single time you pick one up they will heal you for HP that you will lose during the minigame because a lot of stuff damages you. Walking through the firewalls damages you. The Gorilla Guards will damage you, as well as the Cabbage Pots that shoot cabbages at you will also damage you. So you can kill the Monkey Minions for trophies, those will heal you, and you can also pick from the Fruits, or Mine, or any of the Cabbage Gathering locations. And every single time you do that, um, typically they take a little bit longer than the Monkeys, but when you gather them, they will also heal you and grant you two Renown Points every single time. So it's very important to just follow around the pack, and you want to team everything. Like I said, it's very smart to attack multiple monkey minions, and then you can get the entire team to just pile the monkey minions and kill them very, very quickly. And then you can pick up the cabbage trophies quite fast, and that will grant you a lot of renown points, which is very handy because that's what you're going to be spending on bonus experience and, stu and such. So you also want to make sure that you are making it to the safe area on the other side of the arena after each round because you will get additional points for that. And if you do not make it to the safe area, you will get turned into a gorilla. And gorillas cannot gain points very fast, so it's not a good thing to be a gorilla. It is fairly easy to die if you are trying to risk it and you're trying to go for that last resource and the time is almost running out. Or if a gorilla is swinging at you and you're just trying to pick that last cabbage or kill that last monkey minion, 
So make sure that you don't get too greedy when it comes to points and just make sure you prioritize living because it's very important to do that and reach the higher rounds where you'll get more points for surviving them. Also, if you do get turned into a gorilla and it's fairly early on in the game, like round five or before, the best thing to do is log out to the lobby and re-log in and that will turn you into a human again. And the reason for this is because it's very difficult to gain points as a gorilla. Gorillas just do not get very many points. All you can do is lie traps or kill human players but you get nowhere near the amount of round points that you can as a human. And also, if you do get turned into a gorilla and it's late in the game, probably the best thing to do is just AFK and hang out until the game is over, as the other players are just trying to finish up their renowned point gathering as well. Anyway, that's about all for the gameplay itself. It takes a little bit to get the hang of, but once you do, and once you're making sure that you're not dying at all, and that you're taking advantage of following the crowd around and piling all the monkey guards, you'll get up to at least 150 and potentially more renowned points per game, and you should be able to finish off your bonus points per day really quickly. If you do decide to spend your renowned points on XP, unfortunately I can't be a specific on exactly how much XP you're going to get because how much you get scales on your level, but if you are spending the XP at level 99 in the skill, you get about 212 bonus XP, per renown point in mining you get about 111 bonus xp per renown point in slayer and you only get about 73 bonus xp per renown point in farming so it's definitely the best to use it on mining especially considering that mining is a very slow skill up until about level 89 so if you do want to get the most out of your points or if you really don't like mining that's going to be your best bet on one to spend your renown points on because you'll get the most bonus xp from your renown points in that skill as well that's about all for this guide. Go ahead and check out Cabbage Face Punch. The game is growing. It's getting more and more popular as more and more people realize that it's really good to do for the bonus XP. So hopefully you have a good time and gain a lot of bonus experience for yourself. And I'll see you guys next time with the next video. Farewell.